If someone said to you, how can I learn your backhand? What, what would you tell them? You know, many people ask me that question. What's going on, guys? So recently, I spent the day with Dmitry Ochoff comparing Dignix 09C and Tenny G05. During the day, I got the chance to train with Dimmer and got some incredible coaching on how to improve my game. I tried my best to keep up with the beast while he put me through my paces. Hope you all enjoy watching me struggle. Let's go. You have to try, you know, you go only 50% through the ball. You have to try to go 100%, you know, you do like this. And you have to try to do like this. Go more through the ball. Yeah, yeah. Relax the arm and go through the ball. Then you can get a lot more out of your spin. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Nice on. Sorry. Oh, hey. Nice spin. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, a lot more quality. If you miss two points, you rest a little bit. You reset. Sure. Sure. Forward. Yes. Ah. Yes. Oh. Oh, Dan. I needed Tell one. Me before. I needed one. Yes. <laughs> Next time I'm ready. <laughs> oh, Dan. No limits. No limits. You stand maybe you should go back 10 centimeters. Yeah. Always miss when you go up with the body. Yeah. It's pure because you're a bit afraid of my spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid. Okay. It's understandable though, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Head you forward, go, yeah? You go like this. Okay. But you, you block great. Thank you, man. I just want this to give you an opportunity to improve. <laughs> when Dimitri retires, you'll make a fantastic coach. We'll try. Yeah, yeah, very nice. You see, mostly you missed out. But it looks good, you know, very good. Good yeah. quality from you. Relax your arm and upper body forward. Yeah. And you go forward. Okay. Good, 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 good then. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. If someone said to you, how can I learn your backhand? What, what would you tell them? You know, many people ask me that question. Fuck, Dima, how do you do your backhand? What kind of advice you can give me to, to play such backhand, you know? Because it's actually funny, like, I only started to spin backhand when I was about 12. Mm -hmm. Usually, players start a lot earlier to spin. Mm -hmm. But my dad said, like, until I don't grow, until the window, mm -hmm. we will just play counter and push with backhand and then I got bigger and then we started to play backhand when I had decent size and I did a lot of multi-ball practice where I really got 120 percent just tried to learn the the acceleration to like feel it you know so uh, not worrying too much if it's going on or not just getting that yeah yeah I feel like when when I get the power okay and then like try to memorize it mm. and then like okay I, I could get it stable but of course I, I have a lot of wrist and a lot of underarm and it's little bit compare like if you imagine a bow and arrow okay for when I get the push I really get the it's like you yeah. how you call it yeah the the, the like a spring yeah you bring like it back, you spring, curl it back, you yeah curl yeah and cool. then like when 
and then I just explode, mm. basically, you know? It's like I, I, the power is already waiting yeah. to be released. It's nuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, f first of all, I never step back when someone would ever play in my backhand. Yeah. So you attack me, I would never do this. Yeah. I always go against the ball, so I'm, I'm never afraid. So you take me and I counter-attack you with, but because I'm leaning with my whole weight already here. Mm -hmm. And then from there, yeah, it's both wrist and underarm. Because many, you take them back and they're like... Pfft. Yeah, it's too passive and soft. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, just... Mm -hmm. Bit like Fan Chen Dong as well, he has this. Yeah, he plays similar backhand yeah. than me. So this one was low. Yes. They were low, push, yeah. right? Yeah. I adjusted, you know, I couldn't play full power. I did a heavy spin. That's amazing. That feels good when you do this. Yeah, it feels right. <laughs> yeah. The vibration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no bad. No bad. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is what I meant with, uh, with the multibolts, you know? Yeah. If you do a thousand of it a day, you will get when you put and when you don't put. Yeah, yeah. I think you're not strong enough here. Yeah. This part is quite strong. Okay. Nice. Try to help a little bit from the legs. Nice. Nice. This is why, Dimitri, you're, you're top in the world. All the practice when you were younger. Yeah, I did a lot of practice. I still do. <laughs> yeah. Ah, 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 good boy, good boy. Yeah. Ah, ah, hey. yeah, right. You have to close up more. Yeah, yeah. But normally in like top professional table tennis, we yeah. say if you play out, yeah. it's your fault. Ah. Purely your fault. Yeah. Because then you just had to close more. Yeah. If you play in the net, it can be a lot about the quality of the opponent. Yeah. If, if you play out, I yeah. just said up spin. Yeah, yeah. So you had to close it. It, yeah, yeah. it was your bad. Yeah, yeah nice. Okay. Oh. Especially ah. straight is very difficult usually. Yeah. And you don't need to make much effort. No, using no, no. The, no using just, the ball. Yeah, just yeah. use it. Ah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and like quite minimal movement as well. Oh, ah. Nice, yeah. But good ball from you. Thank you. Oh. No, no ceiling! It was coming on! So there we go guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments below what tip you found most useful. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching.